decade ago, virtually no one in the U.S. seemed to have a problem eating gluten. Now millions of people do, including Ray Sear. It was about a year long process before I actually got diagnosed correctly. If you did genetic testing on everyone, you would find that about one out of every 200 people has celiac disease, the extreme illness. Probably about one in 8,000 people. Celiac disease is a digestive condition caused by an abnormal immune response to gluten, which is a protein found in wheat, rye, and barley. When you ingest the wheat products, the small bowel is exposed to those wheat products. It becomes inflamed and the chronic inflammation causes the small bowel to thicken. Ultimately, celiac can interfere with the body's absorption of nutrients. When I was first diagnosed, I, I didn't go out anywhere because I couldn't confirm what I was eating was going to be safe for me. Americans are spending about $7 billion a year on gluten-free products. It has experts wondering if many of them are self-diagnosing. Now the days of guessing are gone since there's a definitive test. They did biopsies in the small bowel in the early 50s. Nowadays, it's a blood test that is about 95% sensitive, and that's why you've seen such a major increase. Scientists believe there may be more celiac disease today because people eat more processed wheat products like pastas and baked goods. If someone in your family has celiac disease, you have about a 1 in 15 or 1 in 20 chance that you've got it. Chances are many people are walking around with celiac and don't know it yet. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.